this is Photo Alien, and I'm going to be showing you how to what is slicing and how to slice. Well, if you're making a a website layout and you need to slice something or make a button or make some text in a box or something that you want to maybe edit later, then uh, you need to slice it. And to do so, you first you have to make a layout in Photoshop, uh, which maybe I'll make a tutorial on it later, like how I made mine. But um, it's pretty simple. Then after you're done that, make sure to open it in Image Ready. So press Edit in Image Ready. Once you're done that, you gotta press the slice tool, which uh, shortcut is K. But I already sliced all of these. But basically, whatever you want to be a button, then you select it like that. So whatever you press in this box, if if you press in this box you will go to the home page and then same thing you have to do this with every button and everything like if you want to add text in here in this spot you gotta select it like that and if you wanna maybe add like an image in over here you gotta select it like that and so on and yeah, if you want some, if you click here, then you go back to the home page and you select that. But I'm already done slicing everything. So the next thing you do is go to File and go to um, uh, Save Optimize As and then save it as and make sure it's HTML and images and then it will make images for you and you'll have an HTML file so you can close Photoshop and when you're done that and uh, then you need Dreamweaver so if you already or maybe you don't uh, you can just upload it like that but if you wanna it, you need this program to make um the buttons work. It won't work without it. So uh, open it up and then open and then look for your look for where you saved your uh, site layout and then select index or whatever you named it and then you got this if you clicked all these whatever you sliced you can select them so select home and then if you want it to go to your home page type in index.html over here if you want to go to your videos type in videos.html but you gotta make a videos page later on which is kind of complicated so I'm going to make a second part for this later but yeah that's basically all you do you gotta do after all the buttons and if you want this to go to page again index.html and um, you can customize the text so you know you can add text and that's about it thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.